Operating cash cycle sums up working capital management beautifully. It gives us one single figure which we could assess to see if our working capital management is good or bad. Operating cash cycle is an equation which is a combination of three ratios, efficiency ratios. The first one is, is inventory days or inventory turnover period. This ratio tells us how long it takes us to sell our inventory. The shortest the period is, the better it is. Then the second ratio we use is account receivable periods, uh, which tells us how long it takes us to uh, recover money from our credit sales. The shortest it is, the better it is. And uh, then the third element is payable period, which, uh, uh, which gives us a figure in days, uh, which is how long it, uh, we take to pay our suppliers. The equation is OCC equals inventory days plus receivable days minus payable days and you will get one figure for operating cash cycle let's look at an example and see how is this calculated so, so first of all let's calculate average inventory turnover uh, these figures are hypothetical uh, opening inventory let's say was 125,700 pound uh, closing inventory is 128,300 pound and the purchases during the year were 667,700 pounds. Average inventory we will calculate first, which is adding up opening and closing inventory and then dividing it by two would give us an average inventory, which is 127,000 pounds. That's our average inventory. And now we will put this figure in the formula for inventory turnover days, which is average inventory divided by purchases times 365. If we solve this, we would get 66 days as a result. So that's our inventory turnover period. The second ratio is average trade receivable period. Uh, first of all, uh, we will uh, take the average receivables. Uh, the figures are, uh, you can see, uh, are given for opening and uh, closing receivables. And then the revenues uh, figures are also given. Now, average trade receivable is 95,500. We have put this figure in the formula for trade receivable turnover, which is average receivables divided by our revenues, our credit sales, times 365 days in a year, basically. So 365 comes from the days in a year. And this gives us 37 days. That means this business is paying their receivables in 37 days. Next is uh, trade payables, how long they take to pay their suppliers. Uh, we can see we have opening and closing figures for payables and then we have purchases figures. Uh, purchases are always on credit, so that's, uh, that's fine. Um, uh, and then we calculate average trade payables, 89,950. Putting that in our formula for uh, payables, which is um, average trade payables divided by uh, purchases times 365 uh, which is 50 days so now we have calculated three ratios we can put the results in the formula for operating cash cycle which is 66 days plus 37 days so we add these up because uh, when we put money in inventory and allow sales on credit we lose money so this adds up to our operating cash cycle and then we keep, when we keep money from our suppliers, it reduces the money which is out of our hand. Hence, we get our operating cycle, our operating cash cycle, which is 53 days in uh, this example. The example we just looked at is very simple example. And if you're looking at uh, to calculate uh, OCC for an actual uh, public limited company, then this example would not work. And I would advise you that uh, you watch uh, my other video on operating cash cycle where i have worked out uh, operating cash cycle for marks and spencer this would give you quite a lot more on this topic i have discussed some practical implications about um, calculating occ of an actual company uh, thank you very much for watching this video i hope you find this video useful